Sounds like film noir music. Oh. There she was, sitting on the bed. Her mind elsewhere. I could tell because she was staring at the ceiling in one particular spot. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? I'm Rando, and this is Lonely Things. Now, this is just a demo, but according to the page on Itch, the full version should be coming out pretty soon. Anyway, enough babbling, let's see this game. I've been driving for so long that I couldn't remember where I was going. The roads all looked the same. The shadows out there never got any closer. So why the fuck was I wasting my time driving? It seemed like the night would never end if I just kept on going. So maybe I should just drive in reverse and catch daylight. All I wanted was a place to sleep. But it had been hours since I had even seen a gas station. I was about to pass out at the wheel when something began to take shape ahead. A building. I couldn't believe my luck. It looked like a hotel. How can you tell? There's nothing but dark. <laughs> eh, who cares? It could look like anything. Uh, spending all that time on a dark desert highway. So tired, your head grows heavy and your sight grows dim. You have to stop for the night. I hope the vol I hope the full version comes with a brightness setting that you can adjust. Because that was frickin' dark. This whole thing is dark. All I see is dark. And a few nondescript things just periodically here and there. Hello. This is the face of someone who's seen some real nasty shit. <laughs> just completely glazed over and... Excuse me, ma'am? Or sir? Whatever your identification is... Woman, okay. Welcome. Oh, you poor thing. You look about ready to drop. You want a room? Well, I already did the books for tonight. I suppose there isn't any place else for you to go out there. Go ahead up to room 12. We can settle up in the morning. Room key added to my... I have inventory, eh? Spiffy. That might come in handy later. I say might, but I know it's going to be the case. So anyway... Locked. Is this not where I... Oh, there's... There's other places. Okay. I'll take it. I guess. As long as I keep my line of sight on the light, because there's nothing you can see over there. Does that look like anything? I'll have to adjust the brightness in editing. Maybe down here. That's really reassuring that the doors on a couple of the rooms are boarded up. Alright, so. Yay! Sleepy time. Let's check out some other stuff first. Oh, a dingy shower and, I guess, a toilet. I better get out of there before I lose myself in the dark. Let's go to sleep. There's not much else to... Hi, creepy red-eyed man. Is it slender? There's someone... There is someone is in your room. Hello. Not only were they creepy and staring at me in my sleep, but they left a note on the inside of my door. They couldn't have left it on the floor and made it look less conspicuous. The bar is open. Grace wants some company. Your car is gone now. Wait, what? Someone took my car? 
Those bitches! And the music has gotten creepy. Creepy and sinister. There might be some voices in the corridor. Hello. Who's that? Someone just chilling out in the lobby. Hello. Jeez, what is wrong with your eyes? Looks like you got jaundice or something. Everything looks like some... Oh. Evening. Looks like something's troubling you. Your car was stolen? Wow. I guess that makes you stranded, huh? Thanks for rubbing salt in the wound, ya douche. I'll keep an ear out for you. It's Joe, by the way. Alright, Joe. Well, that's very kind of you. What's wrong with your eyes? And face and everything else. What's wrong with you? I've got a lot on my mind, myself. I'm, I'm waiting on a special lady. Eh? You know Grace? I didn't mention Grace at all! A note left in your room, huh? Grace does strange things sometimes, but she's an honest woman. Maybe you could try asking the manager about your car, although... Although what? Finish your sentence! Whatever, I'm going to the bar. Hello? Grace? Is that you? Wait a minute. How did... Are you magical? My special lady's not here. She's usually here by now, in the corner table over there. She looks so beautiful in the candlelight. Dude, you are a creepy creeper. I had a bottle of Sleepy Owl for her. I thought she might even let me sit with her. But the manager, that creep, he took it from me. At least it must have been him. He was hanging around outside my room upstairs earlier. Said he was fixing the lights. What a bunch of bull. Nothing ever gets fixed around here. Well, yeah, I can't argue with you there, man. So... Light? Nothing to light it with. Okay. I guess I am on a quest! Let's go exploring, because what else are we gonna do? Since we're stuck in this hotel, and I... can't continue on my journey through that dark desert highway. I can't feel the cool wind in my hair. The warm smell of colitas rising through the air. I kind of want to meet this Grace woman. I bet her mind is Tiffany twisted. Too much too soon? Hello? What's going on around here? Hello? Whoa. What? That was a neat trick. Do it again. I've got a flashlight now. Is it on? Now it's on. How do you do that? I don't know. That, that door's locked. It must have been this one. No. I'll check it out later. Oh. Sounds like film noir music. Oh. There she was, sitting on the bed. Her mind elsewhere. I could tell because she was staring at the ceiling in one particular spot. She didn't notice me come into that room. She did now. Hello! Are you Grace? She is girl. Who the hell are you? 
I don't know anything about a stolen car. Talk to Terrence. He's the manager. It's not my job. All right. Fine. Why are you suddenly a bitch? Besides the fact that I barged into your room. You'll probably find him somewhere else. So get out of here already. All right. Well, uh, it was nice talking to you. I'm just going to read your shit and uh, be a gone. <laughs> hey, it's me again. Thanks for not telling Dad I've been writing. Ooh, a secret relationship, maybe? Not much has changed since I wrote last time. I pretty much clean rooms and sit around listening to music all day. Sometimes stuff happens. You get some real freaks out here. I found this plant or something under the bed when I was cleaning room one today. It wasn't the grossest thing I've found in that drunk lady's room, but it's probably the weirdest. It moved. I've seen a plant. I've never seen a plant do that before. I showed it to Terrence and he went all quiet, took it for me and ran off into his office. Hasn't come out since. The old guy's losing his mind ever since his wife disappeared. I'll tell you about that another time. I've been, I've been finding him talking to himself, wandering around in the halls in the middle of the night. I wonder what he's thinking I'm doing. Or what, or what he thinks I'm doing. It's been three months now since that piece of shit dumped me on by the side of the road. Terrence gave me a good deal so I don't have to pay for much. Another few weeks and I'll have enough to move to the city. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there, though. I'm actually starting to kind of like this place. Don't ask me why. I'll write again soon. Hope you aren't still sick. Aw. Well, get well soon. Tell him I said that. Nothing. You don't even have any clothes. Nobody does. They all... Everyone's just wearing... Awkward black jumpsuits. Everyone's in a cat suit! What's with this curtain? So the dude flipped the light off and some shit happened. Do I want... Whoa. Whoa. I should have just done that. I should have just switched the murder button. I don't know if it's a murder button, but come on. It looks like it's covered in murder. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Whoa. I just came in to uh, complain about the fact that my car was stolen. And I want to leave... But now I'm, now I'm really concerned. What's with these secret switches for everything in here? I thought we were in an upstairs hotel room. Why is there a subterranean tunnel to your office? That is very creepy, sir. And uh, I'll take that. I could use a drink. What's this? I'll take that too. That was a key for something, but which... A, a door, maybe? Of Which door? I'll just have to try them all. What the... What? I'm stuck! Alright, so... We're back, and... Uh, I don't know why the hell I got stuck in a wall or whatever because of this thing. I was kind of glad I got... kind of regret doing that now. Okay! A wriggly wiggly plant tree thing. Goody. What the... Okay. No more labyrinth? Huh. 
No more labyrinth. Weird. So, the key we picked up was for room nine. Where is room nine? There's room one. Wait. Room eight was in my, it was in the hallway across. So maybe room nine is there too? Let's try it out. Or at least see. Need to find room nine. Okay, so here's... Whoa, so suddenly you're open? Hello? Wait, what the... Listen. Am I going to be spying on someone? Oh, poor Grace, says the man in the wall, I guess. That man has been stalking her for weeks. She's not equipped to handle that sort of thing, you know. I th Everyone seems to know Grace personally, and I was like, I just want my car back. I think she'd be better off left alone, but she craves company. Well, I can relate to that. We all need a little bit of company sometimes. She has some issues, though. She settles for the wrong type of company. Well, that's just my opinion on it anyway. I'm sure you have your own. Um, dude, I just want my car. This is a very strange hotel. All right, carry on. Ah, here's room nine. Unlock it. Check everything. Check the nasty red, potentially upside down sofa. Check the, what's that? A lighter, yay. Now what do I do with it? Oh yeah, the, that room in the bar, that, or that candle in the bar. What the? Looks like a nasty caterpillar. You can stay in there. Caterpillar or a slug or something. I don't want to touch it. So. Light. There wasn't even a candle in there until I lit the air, maybe? Place. Whoa. Hello. Have you been crying, creepy ghost woman? Should I? I'll just take a seat. Hi. I don't like the way he's staring at me. What do you have to say? That's my favorite drink. How did you know? I'm Grace. Someone stole your car, huh? Well, the good news is that means you can have a drink with me. Maybe not here, though. It's a little crowded. We could go up to my room. Here's the key. I'm in room one. It's right above us. You haven't been there before, right? <sighs> Who can say with these creepos, huh? Right? <laughs> no, of course. Sorry, ignore me. Just meet me there in a little while, okay? Oh, and if the manager asks what you're doing, don't mention me. He has ideas about how people should behave. Okay. I have ideas about people how people should behave. They shouldn't be able to disappear in puffs of smoke. Or whatever that was. She faded into the shadows. Did you see that? You think I didn't hear that? So you think you're just going to swoop in on my special lady right in front of me, huh? The fuck do you think you are? Um, I'm just a guy collecting things, dude. Also, fuck you, you're creepy. Whoa. My eyes have a zoom feature. Neat. So if I remember correctly... Room one is in here. Oink. Oink. Aha. Why was my flashlight turned off? 
Hello. Grace. Oh, you've been hitting the bottle something fierce, huh? Why is the... Why is the label to that, I assume, wine bottle upside down? Funky. Uh, I'm just gonna rummage through your shit. Hope you don't mind. What's this? Uh, more clue in the form of notes. I'm sorry to slip a note under your door like this, but why won't you talk to me anymore? That night a few weeks ago, I told you I loved you, and you said you loved me too. Now you act like you don't even remember. I can't stand seeing you in the bar talking to other, those other men. They're all just trying to take advantage of you, you know. I'm not. I'm just creepy. I'll keep my distance like you asked. But I don't want to, th to think I've forgotten about you. I don't want you to think I've forgotten about you. Grace, I know you're in some kind of trouble. Is it Terence? He's been hanging around outside your room. Maybe that's why you've been so distant. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out. Joe, you realize you sound like a stalkerish creeper, right? You creepy stalker man. This is a large, nice, friendly room, sort of. Red. Whoa. What the? There. Is it, what? It's got stairs to. Grace? Are you okay? I fell down. What? Then she turned into poo. Then there's poo in the sink! That's nasty! It belongs in there! Oh. What the hell? That's creepy! Alright, I am made of questions right now. We're in a hotel, right? Why are there underground caverns from the second floor to an underground? What the hell are you? Sir? Yikes. I'm not comfortable with you sitting there grinning like a mook. I'm just gonna go ahead and go up or down. Ah, I up. Into a. I don't know where. Joe! What's up with your face? What did you do, Joe? She's dead. Why did she do that? Do what? She didn't. There is a tree on her face. That's... Okay, and I just took it. Why? Oh my goodness, she isn't looking too good. It won't be long now, it's coming for me. Something was after her? The trees were after her! I've been like this my whole life. Never knew any other way to be. The truth is, I just hate it all. There's no pain, no trauma. There's just nothing I'd rather be than a quiet drunk. Nobody ever really wanted to understand that. At least here, people have never bothered me. Until you, Joe. You just won't leave me alone, so I'm not going to pretend anymore. The only way out is down. Egad! This is creepiness! This is the creepy! Whoa. Now there's more? Is this... Is this the one I came from? Probably. I mean, it was pretty much a straight shot. 
What's down here? Do I want to know? Do I need a weapon? Can I stab it with my steely knife? I keep making that reference. Does anybody get it? I hope you do. Place. Place the tree! Did that literally just crawl up? Whoa. Uh. Hi, guys. Nice night. We just hanging out? Funny stories? Good times had by all? Why is everyone staring at the door? You don't look so good. Um... Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Hi. This isn't a place for you. <laughs> if that doesn't get you interested in the game, I don't know what will. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to play the game yourself, a link will be in the description. If you liked this, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave comments down below. And if you're new here, take a look around at some of the other videos that I've done. Maybe one of them will convince you to subscribe, if not this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.